Stand council, I got high hands, and I just want to say that I retired here. In fact, before I retired, when I got here in '75, I've watched the hostility, hostilities between the races, not only in city government, but the fellows of school board of education. The, court, the Department of Justice identified that we had a problem in the school system. We almost 50 years, and that still has not been resolved. We still have an issue of equality for all citizens here in Valdosta. I put my life on the line for over 20 years. Mr. May, I heard you this morning on 105.9, but I didn't hear nothing on any other than the radio stations. You gave a beautiful analogy of what would happen today at this meeting, but the majority of citizens didn't hear anything from you or anything, any, any other elected official. Professors from BSU have asked this council over and over again that all citizens should be notified equally. I don't know how we're going to do it. Maybe just a camera in the ceiling, or just maybe a person from VSU with a camera that would record these meetings so we wouldn't have to use the little camera because you all put it somewhere on television. Or just maybe we'll give a CD to all, a DVD to all the radio stations and TV stations. Now you may ask the question, why are you even asking for that? Because I put my life on the line to die in foreign nations for freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of religion in particular. And repeatedly, I see people coming to this mic, same way the school board of education meeting, same at the Lyons County Board of Commissioners meeting. It is as if though the Attorney General, when he put out that little red pamphlet about open government and the sunshine law don't mean the paper that it's written on. In the library, they got us in a nine foot by four oblong square for us to stand with our cameras and all the TV stations. In the county commissioner, they put us in a little pyramid square that least Mrs. Gretchen can barely get her camera in. Something wrong in Valdosta. We've been saying it. The black preachers, I don't know what's wrong with them. And I love them all. But there is a chorus of fear in this community. And I've been saying for at least 16 to 20 years. I'm wondering what we are waiting on. What are we waiting on to see that we have a race problem in this community? People know it, but people ain't talking about it. I mean, white people who are on, in positions of leadership. They talk about it with me, because I wouldn't know what I know. The things I put on Boston GBR YouTube, I couldn't put them on there unless somebody in the position of white gave me information. But they are afraid, just like black folks are afraid. I don't know why they're so afraid. And I want to excuse me, Frazier, my boss. Excuse me, Tom. I want you to know that the reason I do what I do is because love is what Jesus talked about. Jesus said for us to love one another. You can't love me if you look around and you go to the city and if you don't see somebody look like me in there. If we're not equally represented in the share of the problem, you know where it is. And when I go to business, I go to Miller Hart where I'm looking for blacks. It's something wrong in this community. I don't care how much we look and come by and up to look good and say it's a beautiful place to live. And I agree with the weather and the climate. Now, also is a beautiful place to live. I love it. I retired here, but there's a lot of things that we can do. But just pushing Reverend Rose aside or Lee Touching or the few who are trying to save the heartbeat of what we have here by spilling the truth out, the old people are trying to help the community. They're not trying to hurt it. The Ballast Daily Times won't even report what we do at these meetings. We had three meetings at the Ballast High School Board of Education and nothing from that meeting that Rose Gave nothing that Lee Tuckton said, nothing that Mr. Robinson said, nothing that I said. It was like a tree fell in the forest and we was all sitting under the tree. But they tell us, or they told us, that the forest didn't even exist. 